It's going to be Tina Holmes' favorite things. She is the show manager of the Toronto Fall Home Show. She went around and picked her favorite things, but these are my favorite too. Very oh, nice, very stylish. Okay, Tina Holmes, uh, show manager for the Toronto Fall Home Show. We have your finds, so meaning you went around the Toronto Fall Home Show and you looked for things that you specifically liked. I yes. did, and work boots. Oh my God, the safety first, of course, but how girly girly is this, the floral lining? And they've made them really easy now. I love the pink, and they've done the zipper side, which is new as well. They look really comfy. They are, and they're steel-toed. And the nice. gray, and they've got some really fun new colors out this season, which is good. I'm picking blue. I pick pink. We're Do good. You pick pink? I used to pick pink, but now I'm going to pick blue. That's uh, a fun the glasses color. as well. You can get them in pink. Exactly. And these come in green and raspberry and lime, so they're definitely shaping up the workwear for the women. All right. What do we have over here? Um, this is some new faucets. Um, high efficiency is very important for our home, so we want to make sure that the water flow is key to your showers so this is a new small unit what's this right here flavors of the fall this is a new scent of the month from love my candles coconut pie pumpkin mm. so good and especially Very for nice. the fall and warm up uh what about here for the diy i love painting old furniture this is a mineral based furniture paint from fusion this you don't need a primer you can just straight onto the furniture and it's perfect for the DIY. I don't like priming. No peel. It's like that extra step that I don't want. It is and it goes on fabulous and this is another one from Rust-Oleum. This is spray paint. You don't need a primer. You can just sand the furniture. This actually bonds to plastic. And spray paint is just so easy. Exactly and fun colors. What's this? Okay we've gone to the garage and Gladiators come up with some really innovative systems. This actually would clip onto your shelving in your garage. If you have your bike and this is your tire, you basically pop it on and then pop off and this will clasp your tire. That's great. So you just lean your bike up and it'll pop right in. Gets it out of the way. Save more room for more stuff. Uh, what do we have here? And condos. We've of course seen these balcony tiles from Skyscrapes. These are really important, especially with all the condos going up in our city. They now have the plastic version, which is great. It doesn't need a subfloor. It's just click and groove. It comes in multiple colors and patterns too. So why not enjoy the outside as well as the inside? I use something condos. like this when I have. I use it outdoors actually on my deck. It's and great. And for I the balconies? It, yeah, especially because yeah. I had an uneven deck, so it kind of evened it out. Yeah. Uh, one more thing right here. The color gray, the color gray, you can't go wrong with the color gray. And really, fall is coming in, so it's a great time to add a quick accent. You don't have to redo your room. You just have to add a pop. Fall is here, and the fall home show is here. Where are we? When can people come? Thursday, today, opening day, and we run till Sunday. There you go, right here uh, on the CNE grounds here uh, at the Better Living. Better Living Center, Better Exhibition Living Place. Center. We'll see you when we come back on Breakfast Television, taking a break. Jan, I see you've recovered nicely from the uh, Spook Fest you were at yesterday. Today you're at the Fall Home Show, but Kev just teased something that I'm very excited about. Next week you're bringing us an adult playground, like finally, where the height requirement uh, is not here. exciting. <laughs> It's about time, it's don't about you think? Time. Like, like we need an excuse to play in a playground as adults, yes. and now we have an excuse. No, slides and giant why, balls. Why is it just for the little kids? Right, exactly. Because I get stuck in the slides for the little kids. Finally, thank you. <laughs> there was this one time. Yeah, don't ask. This, it's about time, <laughs> Dina. So I'm really looking forward to that. You know who I, I should bring with me though? Who? Carson Arthur. Yeah, he would love it. He's a big kid. He's a big kid. He would love it. Okay, get in here. Carson Arthur. I think I'm the biggest kid, aren't I? <laughs> uh, playground for adults. So everything a kid would do in a playground. I'm in. You have an excuse to do. Are you... I am in. I am in. Do I have to sign a waiver before I do it? And you, I, <laughs> at my job, you always have to sign a waiver. I signed a waiver before I came into the fall home show. That's true. <laughs> uh, but you don't have to sign a waiver when you come to the fall home show. And you can see this guy. You're going to be here when? Tomorrow and Saturday? I'm tomorrow and Saturday. I'm encouraging everybody to bring your design outdoor landscaping questions because I'm going to be answering them right here in the Gladiator booth. I love it. So this, you designed this. This is my gardening one. 
This is, a, I, I love this. I have garage envy. I looked at the other two that we're going to see, but this is the one that I, I'm a gardener. Me too. Yeah. Well, and when Gladiator asked me to do a design for a garage, I thought, why me? I'm a landscaper. What do I know about garages? And then I realized at this time of year, I can't even park my car in the garage. Like 70% of Canadians. We don't. I can't. We do not. We What's your garage full of? Well, first of all, you've got your garbage. Right, you're <laughs> yes. recycling and your garbage, but yeah, everything. But it's very neat. My husband is very neat and organized. He's an A personality. But like everything's hung up, everything's got shelves. Very neat. And I would like to say the same about myself. But at this <laughs> time of year, I've got the wheelbarrows on the floor. I've got all the rakes, all the tools, the ladders. Everything's exploded in the space because this is my transition period, right? Yes. The leaf blowers coming out, all the gardening stuff's going in. My garage looks like it exploded, oh. which isn't necessarily a good thing. You've hung up things now. We hung up wheelbarrows. We actually created a space for a gardener right here. We actually took all of the implements that you would use in your home for gardening for spring and we created a space that you can customize for your own garage. You can fit more stuff in your garage when you hang it on the walls and you've got shelving and look you've even got cupboards. Well one of the most important things we're starting to learn about with garages is that the value of cupboards, the value of countertops actually increases your home's value. In fact garages has slipped in between between kitchens and bathrooms is one of the best places for ROI. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So if you spend a dollar in your kitchen, you're going to get about 70 cents back if you sell your house within five years. If you spend a dollar in the garage, you're going to get 65 cents back. Love Isn't that it. amazing? And Love all it. of these pieces are portable. That's yeah, what's what beautiful. Yeah, what are these pieces? So these are all hanging garage systems and they're locked so that we can't get in and break into them, That's which okay. is That's okay, and it's from Gladiator. This is all from Gladiator. Love what's beautiful this. about these pieces, <gasps> though, is you can store things that you don't want maybe your kids to have access to. All right, you don't want access to paints, solvents, any of those chemicals, you can lock them up, put them away. Uh, we don't have way. a lot of time, Carson, Let's go take so a look I want to show both of these. Uh, this one, we, we did the promo here, but you can hang your bike. Uh, if you're very, This is for the sporty person. This is definitely for the sporty person. We're starting to look at garages as living space in your home, right? So it's not just about parking the car, it's about usable space. So if you're lucky enough to have a little extra room in your garage, why not take advantage of it? Why not make it sporty? And and what a perfect time to support the Blue Jays with a little Blue Jay Blue. Go Blue Jays! One more to show you. Come oh, take a look at this one. What a great celebration last night. It was fantastic. Love the footage. And last but not least, look at this. Who could not love the automotive garage? And this is perfect. And we've got, you know, a $100,000 motorcycle for you to come and see right here at the International Home Show. I bet you uh, Kevin and Dina would just love this garage. We'll see you when we come back. And we've got a great deal. So stick around because we have a promo code that you can use to get a great deal on tickets at the Fall Home Show. Thanks, Carson. You're welcome. Hey, good morning. We are back at the Fall Home Show, the Toronto Fall Home Show, and I am here with Leanna Lair Perot, and I love what you're doing with this table, but first of all, what is this area? So this is the ultimate upcycle challenge, all in support of Habitat for Humanity. This is now the fourth year that this has been a feature at the Home Show. Past years we've talked about chairs. This year is all about table tastic upcycling. Oh, so what people have done, what designers have done, yes. they've taken a table and they've made them spectacular. So each of the participants were given the choice of one table from the restore. Yes. And then they received a mystery box of product from Rustolia. So dun dun dun! They all had to be creative and think outside of that mystery box to essentially make over a table with their own flair. And as you can see, what I love is each of the personalities of each of the participants have really come through. So Tiffany Pratt did this one. Can I buy this one? You absolutely can. That's the kind of the best case with this is not only can you come and check them out and get inspired, but each of them you can bid on and all of the proceeds over the course of the weekend, whoever the winner is that gets to take the table home, that money goes towards supporting Habitat. I love it. Tell me about your table. So my table, what happens when you open this mystery box and you've got paint, but then you also have clear dry erase paint in there. What the heck do you do with that, right? So I was immediately inspired by this craze that's going on of the adult coloring book, right? Everybody's super into coloring all these patterns right now. So I just decided what if I made this table over and hand drew on this crazy pattern. So yes, I actually did this all by hand because I'm, I'm crazy like that. Right. But if you're not comfortable doing that, get yourself a tracer. So a tracer and you can trace a pattern from an adult coloring book on a tabletop. And basically now, once the clear dry erase paint's on there, we can color it as we've been doing and then just wipe it all off and start again. I love it. There is a special deal for tickets for the fall home show. You can go to the website, which is on our website, and the special promo code 
BTVIP. Taking a break. We'll see you when we come back on Breakfast Television. City Smart Living. Oh, yeah, you can see it here at the Fall Home Show, which is happening today, running through until Sunday. Parishi is here. You did an amazing job decorating Thank these you. small spaces. Perfect for condo living or just like a small home. For a small home, condo living, it's just perfect for small spaces seeing the crazy real estate. Parishi Design Studio, that's the name perfect. of your studio. Can we take a look around and tell me what you've done in this room right here? Sure. Um, this is the small living space, I'm trying to declutter because you know that when you have a lot of stuff, it's gonna look busy, it's gonna look too tight, space is gonna look small. I love declutter, so it's decluttering. Declutter. It's my favorite thing to do. Get yeah. rid of things. Get rid of things. It's hard, <laughs> but get rid of things. Um, using a small, um, the new built-in concept where you can hide away your TV. Hide okay, it with where the is clutter. this from? I love this. Uh, we have on board uh, Onyx Kitchen. They are <gasps> the um, built-in, they supply the built-ins, they design built-ins. They are amazing. They have some really cool stuff for kitchens and uh, the other areas. And it's perfect for small living spaces. And when you have a small space, you can't have a huge couch. This couch is a perfect size exactly. with the two chairs. Yes. The more you go on the skinny legs, instead of having like a big bulk at the bottom, it makes the space look more lighter and bigger. We're going to go and into the next room right here. And yeah. this is this is the kitchen. Yep, this is like the white concept, trying to do most of the stuff in, in white. Um, this kitchen has got amazing things too. like. It has a built-in coffee station. Maybe you want to come in on this side. And white makes everything look bigger, of course. Yeah, and then you can just tuck everything in. It's clean. They don't have a sink here, but it's possible to have a sink in there, too. Not for the show, but we get the yeah. idea for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, so it's like completely amazing technology. Using more gloss surface helps the space look bigger. You're going to have to watch those uh, cupcakes there. You know, people at the show, they might, uh, they might <laughs> eat those cupcakes. A uh, cute table, perfect yes, that's for four. again from Casa Life. It's perfect. And you know what the best thing about it is? It extends out. Look so anyhow, at this. More, yes, there, there you go. It extends out on both the sides. And the, the bedroom right over there. Tell me about the bedroom. Again, trying to make it a lighter space using all white with a little bit of artwork on the wall, more trendy, modern concept. And there it goes, the den. Again, we have always a den in the condo. So right here, right, right there. out in this open Perfect. concept. And last but not least, let's take a look at this room right here. It's more the loft style living. People are going crazy with the loft designs and the loft concept, more Scandinavians. You can see it right here at the Fall Home Show. Go to fallhomeshow.com. And if you want a special deal on tickets, BTVIP is the promo code. We'll see you when we come back on Breakfast Television. Taking a break. The sun is shining. So enjoy that. Jennifer has the very latest uh, going on with countertops I love it. right now. Jen, all I want is just a countertop that's not good. They all say they, they don't. I want a countertop that does not scratch. I don't need a cutting board. I just want to be able to cut on that at, at all times. On the direct surface. Yeah. You just want to cut, but even if you have a countertop. Wait, where's your mic, Jen? Hold on. Jen, your mic's gone, though. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you leave it? Where did you Even if you have. Uh, sorry, <laughs> thank you. You don't want to know where I left this mic. Okay. Did I leave it over there? Uh, okay, so even if you had the countertop where you can cut directly on, would you? Because I have that countertop and I still don't cut directly on the countertop. I'm still afraid. So would you? I don't know if I would. You can. They're no, not answering good. me anymore. They've, they're done with me. They're like, they don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Supposedly, yeah, we have tough. that countertop. But I'm still afraid. Yeah, you're right. That's I'm afraid to. Yeah, don't I'm risk it. To. No, no, I want to risk it. No, don't risk Do, it. I don't risk it. I can put a pot right on my countertop and I don't do it. Can we do that, Dan, wrong. if we have that kind of countertop? Depends that on would be quartz, right? Let's say if we had quartz. I have quartz. quartz can, yeah, sure. I can put a pot right on it, but I don't. But you can. But you, can I'm cut, too, you can cut on it. I'm so afraid. What does Dan look like this morning? Because you'd think that he would look really tired, but you don't. And the reason why is because your beautiful wife, Allison, and you just had twins. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, you, uh, you have yeah. your older son <laughs> and now twins. Twin seven-week-olds, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. I am so happy for, for most you. Of it. 
They're wonderful. Hello to yeah. Allison. I know Allison so well. Life has really changed for you. So it's Harlow, yeah. Logan, and the oldest Ryder. one. And yeah. Ryder. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, okay, so the, let's talk about countertops. Is this the counter, kind of countertop that Kevin Frankish can cut on? Yeah, yes. So it's this quartz. is this is a quartz. This is uh, Santa Margarita, it's called. Um, basically, it's this is a man-made material. Is this it is more a expensive? Natural material. Is yeah. quartz more expensive than no, the natural? No, no, no. No, the natural not. is more. natural. I mean, Rome was built on it. It comes out of the ground, and we pay for that. And but you can't cut on it. E, it will scratch, but I mean that's that adds character. It's it's the beauty I mean, of we it. We can in, in our North American standards. We think it has to look perfect. You go it over to Italy, and it's all used and abused and it looks great. I'm still picking the quartz. What I about know, flooring? High end, low end. I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I want a really nice floor. So there's laminate floors, there's engineered floors, there's natural floors, there's solid floors. Uh, I mean, you could go with a laminate floor, which sort of has a cork backing. You know, these are range around $5 a square foot. You could go with something that is more solid, which is an engineered floor. And then you get into the whole aspects of, do you have radiant heated floor? Is it going on concrete? So is it going on People top of have tile. all these questions. Can they come here and ask you the questions this weekend? 100%. I'm so speaking it, at the uh, home show. So it's Carrick Hall Homes. You're speaking when? Uh, Friday at 4, Sunday at 1. So it's called Builders 101, and it's teaching clients and homeowners how to be the perfect client. You want us to be the perfect client? <laughs> yeah, it makes my job a lot easier. The contractors want us to be the perfect client. That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to work, guys. The Fall Home Show happening today, running through until Sunday. Go to Breakfast Television to find out about a great deal on the website. BTVIP is the promo code.